So Appreciate we're gonna hear, um, everybody so stopping what, by. What other tight ends do we have here? We have do you guys want to watch one of Hunter Bryant while we we're just here? Watch one. Do you have time, Nick? I mean, I guess I'm getting peer pressured into it, and I like Hunter Bryant, so let's do it. Yeah, let's no, just watch calls. one game. Right. One game, just to see. Cause I haven't watched a lot of Hunter Bryant yet. I've only watched like two games. Anybody have the game logs? Because we got four games. I want to make sure we get a good one. Uh, I can pull it up quick. If you want? So can everybody see this here? Like all those games? Like so, if someone's asking about, yeah, like, yeah. The film, yeah, like they this can is see him right now. This is the Dynasty Nerds film room, and this will be a nonstop ever growing log. Like, look over here. We have a 2021, 2021, 2021, two, 2022. So once this class is done, we're going right into 2021 tape and then 2022 tape. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a nonstop backlog of tape. This is going to be the best most... game's Utah. Do you have that one, Jared? That's yeah. Head up. Yeah, that's his best game. Six for 150, 105 and two touchdowns. Uh, and a carry for four yards. Well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change See, my opinion right now. I'm like, Hunter Bryant's tight end one. He's a fantasy He's a fantasy guy. He's like an Evan Ingram. Number three in the conference. Yeah, I, I just don't know that he's that athletic. Like, Evan Ingram is a freak show. He is a freak. Evan Ingram's a 4-4 guy. Hunter Bryant's not that, but he's, he's more know what, of a receiver uh, than a tight end. I mean, he had good size. He came in today, came in at six foot four and a quarter, 248 pounds. He was six Bryant foot four? Bryant came in at 6'4"? He's 6'2", yes. I thought. No, Hunter Bryant, six foot four and a quarter. You sure he wasn't Harrison Bryant? Harrison Bryant. Let me, let me. I had a combine. Let me. You Look guys at me, Jared. This. Both question you at the same thing at the same time. Well, it, it would be an easy mix-up. That's why I said that. And I, I thought know. I didn't think he was six four. So. No, I thought he's six two two thirty. Oh, never mind. I was looking at Harrison Bryant. Do uh, <laughs> it. He's six foot two two eights, and uh, I hate when they do that. Six foot two eights. It's a quarter. Six foot two and a quarter and two hundred forty eight pounds. Two forty eight. 248, yeah. He put 23, that's, that's uh, 23 reps yeah. up on the bench press. And in case you didn't notice, it was. Listen, no one cares about that, Jared. It's not relevant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like the use of his hands here. He's getting the guy off. He's getting held. See, but, but like, and then he came flat. Go back. And then he comes flat across the field. Mm -hmm. Gets that's himself a open. Great route. Because he gets in there, he's fighting, and boom, he's coming straight there. So he's open. Out, line about. Listen, if Jacob Eason has to throw the ball, it's going to be a dart, and you know it. Waylon is so dreamy. Oh, man. That's because Tyler's actually met me. He's just lying to everybody. <laughs> Appreciate it, J. Mike. Wait, Waylon, are you in Minnesota? Hands. Are you in Minnesota, too? I'm uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, okay. So I went up there I've, with, you know, Fish had a couple people out a few times. I think I think uh, Scott's a great team. Tyler Tyler I think you gave me your business card and a Dynasty uh, Happy Hour T-shirt. I think I still have that. Tyler from Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. Him and Izzy and JP. And... That's crazy. Uh, Gary, I mean, uh, Rich was saying how everybody in like the Dynasty community pretty much is in Ohio or Minnesota, for the most part. Yeah, it's, it's a hub, man. It's, it's heavily weighted. Well, it's because nothing else we can do, man. Can't go outside. <laughs> It's been a mild winter in Ohio. Oh, here's that four-yard carry. Look at that. Boom. I haven't even shoveled my driveway once this, this winter. We were supposed to have that big th snowstorm here in Madison, and then we got z zero flurries. Like, it was insane. Like, from three days ago, it was going to be snowpocalypse. And then... Uh, this has been the lightest winter of my life. He's definitely mm. a fluid athlete, just, you know, watching him run. He is. The one thing yeah. he's had is some injury history, so... That's Do you have any detail concern. on that? I know, uh, not offhand. I just remember from doing my Devry reports, he's had some injuries that's kind of held him back. Yeah, but I've liked what I saw on film. I don't have it in front of me either. He's a natural pass catcher. That comes, yeah, it comes back to the ball there, catches it behind yeah. him. He's my tight end one, kind of easily at this point. I love how it says Cole Komet on the screen. I didn't have a graphic <laughs> prepared for this. No, he looks really good. They're right not now. even the same race, Jared. Come on, how do you mess that up? I know, I'm going to have to. Hunter Bryant's people are going to come at you. Rich is saying he's 6'4". <laughs> You're saying his name's Cole. Come I'm trying to come move his, boost his draft stock here. Yeah, right. I mean, he's lining up. Ooh, oh, man, look go. at that. Look at that. See, he, wow. he's like a receiver. That's what he'll give you there. Yep. It's just, wow. It's a, that guy almost fell down. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah. That's not going to happen to the NFL, though. 
It might if he gets it with the linebacker. Yeah. Well, let's see the defender one to cross over there anyways. Look at that. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, oh, I got, great, nice hands yeah, catch. I got a new tight end one, guys. It's Hunter, it's Hunter Bryant. He does look like a better blocker than Kamara. Welcome, already. Rich. Welcome. I agree. It's just yeah, more like uh, tech, technical. Komet was like definitely that. lacking in as far as like technique goes in blocking. You can tell he was... Well, and he's so, so smooth out of that hesitation too. You know what I mean? He's a very smooth player. I mean, Hunter's not in line at all. Mm. No, he's a, he's, a, he's a wide receiver. Yeah, he's Evan he's Ingram. A, he's a guy you might want to get in fantasy. Um, to people that really love the combine, um, Salvin Ahmed, the running back here for Washington, he's going to blow up the combine. He's going to be the fastest running back tomorrow. What's his si well, how, how tall is he? He looks real small he's, there. He's, he's little. He's probably going to run a 4-3, though. He's real fast. Yeah, I heard he's a 4-3 guy. He already looks like a better blocker than Komet. Yeah, I know. Without even trying to block anybody, he's already a better blocker. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I love that play design. Yeah. But but they had him doing it, which shows how much they trust him. Yeah, that play was supposed to go to him. There you go. There he is. Look at J. Mike check. Just on these measurements. 5'10 and 7'8, 197, Rich. Good looks, J. Mike. Basically, J.K. Dobbins size. Yeah, that's good size. I thought he'd be, he looks like on film smaller than that. Yeah, I'm just ribbing you about J.K. Dobbins, but yeah. Dude, J.K. Dobbins could be running back 1 1. He came out smaller than I thought. He was 5'10? Was yeah, but he's 206, 208. Yeah, it's because he's so light on his feet. Yeah. Dude, that cut, dude, sometimes when J.K. Dobbins cut, I feel like I'm watching The Matrix because he's like literally just sideways. A lot of guys drop weight for the for the combine Olympics anyway. I, know what I love? I love how they change the combine this year. They're gonna weigh them in right before they do their testing too again. That's great. So before they run, they're gonna weigh them in again. To make oh, sure good. That. I didn't know that. Yeah. So when they before they all do their test tomorrow, I heard they, they can decline though too. They 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 can decline to do that. Oh, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. Can they decline it? I thought they had to weigh in. I thought it was part of the rule. Gosh, loop. he's got a good burst. I like that. Yeah, I might be wrong. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure. I thought I saw that though that they could. Yeah. I was just saying it's you're like an wrong option right there. <laughs> I thought it, I read it that they had to. Is what the way I read it. <laughs> I'll be checking with my inside sources at the combine. You're funny, dude. Uh, Garrett Price. <laughs> All right. I, I had a couple. I had a couple buddies get somebody fired yesterday. He's quick, man. Really, Tony Grossi. Yep. <laughs> I mean, they, they can't let that happen. Uh, the station who I the station who I do uh, my fantasy for work for ESPN Cleveland, mm -hmm. uh, their national guy called called Baker an effing midget without knowing he was live, uh, without knowing it was live on the air. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely suspended. dude. I mean, Browns Twitter, Browns community really dislikes this guy, and oh, all the players are short with this. him. Knowing he's going to get hit and then still catches yeah. the ball and gets up field. Watch, I mean, it's a good rub concept right here. Yeah, good catch in traffic. But then he spun and got the first down. Too. I, say, I like the way he spun. So he gets to the ball. He knows where the defender is and he spins. Mm -hmm. yeah. Comes right off it, the butt of Jim the receiver here. It, yeah. Hunter Bryant looks like he eats the cushion of defenders similar to how wide receiver does. He's got the toes of the defender pretty quick. Yeah, he. I mean, he is a receiver. If we're being honest, 6 2, two 30. He, I mean, I, you know, or 248, is that what and it was? Whatever. And he knows where the defender is there. He, he catches the ball. He sits, and you see he planted with his outside right leg there with the intention mm -hmm. to get away and go upfield. I mean, obviously he didn't, but I, I, like, I like the catch there on the tackle. Yeah, go back this route. Yeah. Over route. Good hands catch here. Well, what, yep. I, what I like about the route, though, he was, he was really flush with his other receiver doing the under route yeah. to rub anybody off. Same with that last route right before that, too. He yep. came right off the butt. Yep, right, right there, here. flush. Mm -hmm. It's a good route runner. And yeah. then after the catch on this next one, he had the sideline awareness to leave himself a room on the outside to avoid and then go around. See? Right there. Dude, that got my nipples to my rouse. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett Price is not on. It is Rich. 
Yeah, Very different. My name is Gary Price. Uh, yeah. This is this is nice, and so I'm gonna I gotta make sure because I'm gonna remember this uh, pretty vividly because this is his best game. So I, I can't wait to watch a couple more games to see what right. else I can get out of him because this is his best game. And again, yeah. you have to take that stuff, or you can't just definitely take that a what it is. bad angle there by the number ten. This is I mean, oh, yeah. this is fantastic. I haven't seen this game yet by Brian, so this has really got me excited for somebody who's looking for the next, you know. This is the guy I would invest in, not any anybody. It yep. seems like his upside's way because again higher than Komet. We're talking about fantasy football, right, guys? So this yeah, guy's gonna fantasy football, the greatest yeah. fantasy football of all time. Yeah, that's that, that's the most important thing when watching the block tape. You know, it's like what are you watching it for? You're seeing who you're, we watch tape to see. We're not. We're not watching tape to see who we can draft for our NFL teams. We're watching tape to see who can give us our the most fantasy points. Can't say that mm. enough. Yeah. You know, that's why when, when, I, when I pre when I preach, man, he guy, eats the cushion here. The safety. You say there's not good fantasy options, man. We we say all the time on the podcast, like this guy's a good NFL player, but he's not a good fantasy player. There's mm. a, there's literally a, a big difference there, man. A huge difference. And that's how could, I feel about Thaddeus Moss. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a prime example, man. And that's how I like said when people ask me how I poo, I could why I always like I was so anti Derrick Henry forever. I just always said like I don't think he's really a big fantasy scorer. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I said on our podcast all the time like, oh, Rich, you got to eat crow. And I'm like, no, dude, I don't have to eat crow because I was right for 75 percent of his career so far. Right. And just now, he literally just had the best year ever. Led the NFL in rushing. He was still running back seven on the year in PPR leagues. Mm-hmm. So I mean, he's not even a top half. Gosh, that route, him. yeah, that step, man, eats the cushion to get the yep. corner on his heels, and he breaks inside. Dude, quick, quick, quick. dropped it. Then who's he drops a, it. Who's that tight end? He's a shorter tight end. Played for Washington for a little while, but he had a lot of injuries. Jordan Reed. Uh, it wasn't Jordan Reed. It was, he played with him though. So he reminds the me Redskins? of Redskins. Yeah. Get his oh, damn name. Uh, he went to Florida too. It wasn't. Um... Oh, Trey Burton. No, nah. oh, no, he was in Washington. Well, no. you, you could put Trey Burton, Jordan Reed, Aaron Hernandez. Um, all of them. Gonna... Hunter Bryant and Aaron Hernandez, like their their statistics and their size match up almost perfectly. Yeah, Jeremy Stevens is way bigger, Rayman, in my opinion. Jeremy Stevens is six seven. Brian. Uh... You think what Dyson put that set out earlier comparing Aaron Hernandez to uh Hunter Bryant? You're talking NFL or, or college, Jared? Redskins. Uh oh, Jordan Reed. It was Jordan Reed. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Vernon Davis. Vernon no. Davis. No, not Vernon. Niles Paul. That's who it was. Oh. What what? What an irrelevant player that is. <laughs> he reminds me of him. <laughs> I'm trying to pull Listen, a Nick Whalen here. Are you, yeah, are you doing it to me right now? Rich. Yes. Do you know who Don Beebe is? Of course I knew. Buffalo Bills, Don Beebe. Thank Don you. Be- Don, Beebe, Don Beebe wore a, the, the helmet protector. Yes. He landed on his head multiple times. I, I don't know if you watched all these, Rich, but my, my comp for Andy Isabella is Don Beebe, and nobody knew who he was on the podcast. Oh, how do you know who Don Beebe is? He went to four Super Bowls. Thank you. He's no the one idea. that... That messed up the Leon Lett touchdown, Don Beebe. Oh, Don Beebe, little white guy that could. Dude, but he, but if you look at him, how he ran, oh, just like Andy Isabella, it's they're like clones. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good comp. I, See, I, 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 always, I always thought Don Beebe was funny because he had to wear that that helmet protector. So he yeah. looked, look at his watch coming out of the movie Spaceballs. Yeah, it was funny when they had like that double helmet. Yeah. You know, he landed on his head, man. He like he literally like went up for a catch and like didn't came down directly on top of his head, no protection, like a pogo stick, a little Don BB pogo stick. Um, this is a long Utah game. So, Jim Mike check per Ian Rappaport. Interesting to watch tomorrow as drills begin. One of the top agencies has instructed their players to not weigh back in before on-field work as the combine has required for the first time. This year, players are asked to weigh in for a second time. Agents have resisted. Ooh, dude. If, if that's what you weigh, why are you resisting, law? players? Dude, yeah, if you resist against the law, you go to jail. It's called resistant arrest. <laughs> 
J Mike, man, appreciate you dropping all these uh, dude, fact checks for us, dude. Right now. Look at this yes, double pass. You. Really appreciate it. Well, that's back, a, back you missed it. it. All three it. of us are sitting at a computer, but none of us. That's a good job <laughs> tracking the ball. Up. Dude, I'm not sitting at a computer. I'm like sitting in front of this giant screen. It's like all. You're screen. sitting in the podcast room. That's where they film uh, the podcast. Yeah, I'm in right a pod- that's where we record the Dynasty Series podcast. Better get a major overhaul. Ooh, look at that settling in the zone. Do you guys mind Beautiful. that I threw this on? Beautiful. Dude, Just... that last play, he tracked the ball really well there mm-hmm. while backpedaling. He's a I'm good receiving tight end. Yeah, I like what I've seen out of Brian. So far Rich, you said in the end zone, that play? No, the previous one, like three plays ago, where he didn't catch the ball. Oh, okay. The hell is that? It's Jacob Eason, man. Yeah, not a fan. What the hell? I'm not a fan of that? him or Herbert. I, I have this interesting I like suspicion. Herbert. I like Herbert. What yeah, me too. Wrong? Why? I think he's got some good upside, man. I got a good arm. He makes some crazy tight window passes, but, I mean, he isn't consistent. He needs to clean up his footwork. I think that's the root of all his inconsistencies. He's, he's Trubisky. Uh, I think he has more upside than Trubisky. It's easy to say now, but when they came out of college, is what I'm saying. Anywho. It's all right. We're allowed to disagree. Trubisky. Yeah. So, so Trubisky's from my home. He, he's here. He lives where I live. He was here yeah. the other day. Not my house, but <laughs> you get you get you have guys getting fired, Rich. You you know you hang out with Trubisky. What's going on over there? Man? Yeah, he scrimmaged a couple guys I know because we scrimmaged men every year from where I went to high school. Kyle Kyle Bowler had a good arm. Listen, Kyle Bowler kneeling from the fifty and throwing it through the Uncle Rico. Race. Yeah, always just, remember that, dude. Jamarcus Russell. Oh, he could throw the ball seventy five yards from his knee. <laughs> Alex, you have seven tight ends on your. On your roster is a super, I mean, a tight end premium league. <laughs> it better be. Sounds like a rich roster. Dude, I, dude, I have no joke. If I told you this league, route. it's a one tight end league, non-premium. Is that the one the you said on the podcast? A, oh, dude. And I, and, I, and, I, and I traded away Kelsey. I traded away Ertz. I traded away uh, forever. And I still have Kittle, Ingram, uh, I have Kittle, Ingram, Hawkinson, Dallas Goddard. I, gosh, I got so many tight ends. Because nobody ever drafts them in that league, so I just always take them. It's like, okay. Yeah. And I trade away for good players. Like, I've traded away Kelsey. I've traded away Ertz, like I said. Somebody else, too. I can't even keep track. Mm. Nice catch. Sideline awareness. We see again? outside of his frame. Yeah. Drops the right foot. Okay, right now, he's your tight end one, right? Yeah, he is. Jared? Easy. Like, it's not even close, honestly. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not through him yet to say that or not, but I'm from tonight, right. I, yes. No, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going off of like this, like yeah. what I'm watching here. It's because look what I mean. Look what we're seeing. We're seeing a tight end that plays wide receiver. Go, which, go back here. Go back here. It's fantasy production. Let, let's talk about blocking here, okay? Not this one. Next play. I lost him. Where's he at? Okay, sorry. Oh boy, not this play. Oh, Stop here. Sure. Sorry, coach. Stop. Stop. Go back. 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 Did you take out two guys there? Stop. Okay. So right here, right? <laughs> he has the end. What I love is he steps inside and takes away the ends inside. He doesn't have to have a devastating block, but he's taking away the angle. This is smart blocking. Cole Comment. Watch our podcast and learn. Inside. He's called a podcast. <laughs> Whatever, man. You know, video cast? What do you want to call it? Stream. Videocast? Video stream? I'm sorry. Yeah, they I mean, like freaking copyrights right. reserved. Have to Ooh, say it right. It's a smooth. You, you route. have Cole Komet still on the screen. What are you talking about, man? Hey, brother. Yeah. You can accurate. only do so much over here. Give you my video stream. Kane, oh, Kane came in and said, "This isn't uh, AJ hey, Dillon." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what AJ Dillon's about as physical as Cole Komet is blocking. So it's a good speed route Dude. here. Speed out here. Talk about somebody I won't draft in any league whatsoever. AJ Drops his Dillon. hips real nice. Oh, I'm not gonna have him at all. Yeah, he's about as soft as a pretzel. A soft pretzel. Damn it. Dude, why did that last play Hunter, Hunter <laughs> That's a Bryan, terrible uh, metaphor. The alligator armed that ball. Which one I was watching? I'm, I'm over here trying to read comments, too. That deep route. Wait. Mm. I don't think that was him. It wasn't him? No, he ran the speed out here. I've been staring at the screen for too long. It's a pretty good route, though. Yeah, it is. 
Oops, what I do? He's not afraid to get dirty in there. I like that. Now, as much as I like Hunter Bryant here, I'm still not taking him to the third. The third? Wow. From what I'm seeing here, this is like second round potential for me. Not unless it's tied in premium. Yeah, why not? Why? Because I don't, I don't, I, the odds of him being a tight end one in a fantasy league, I think, are low. Huh. Okay. You think he's going to be a top 12 tight end in the NFL? Uh, let's see where he lands. What if he lands on New England? I don't know. What if Brady does going to be a quarterback? <laughs> yeah, but I don't care about who the quarterback is. I care about what system and scheme they like to run. That's Bill Belichick. Yeah, but Brady's been there the whole time. It's hard to say. Yeah, it, it is hard to say. Yeah. We're speculating. Anything can happen. Third time you said that, Rich. And I, I probably that, wouldn't take a tight end in the second round in this draft, specifically. Dude, Kevin Garnett taught me well. Anything is possible. Oh, man. Kevin Garnett. Get what catch. Yeah, why, I like, like, why don't you think – I mean, again, I, we're sitting here saying – like, I'm sitting here saying how, how weak the tight end – like, how easy it is to be a tight end one. You don't think Hunter Bryant is shown the skill set here? To be a tight end one, I mean, if he essentially can land on a team and be the second option at receiver, uh, I don't see why not. I mean, the way what I'm seeing here off of two games, like he could easily be like a 75 catch kind of guy. Well, yeah, but I mean, you also have to name 12 tight ends, and there's so many guys that are athletic, and it's I, a lot of being a tight end one. I think in fantasy is is fit and scheme and yeah, targets. For, I I agree 100. That's why it's like, where does he land? Dallas Goddard's not a tight end one. He's but he will really be once Zach Ertz kicks rocks. Yeah, that's another. You're waiting another two years. Oh yeah, well, it's gonna be out of his rookie contract. Yeah, be patient. Well, that's because of where he lands. That everybody lands in that situation. So right. I mean, let's see where he lands. I mean, again, I mean Jacksonville's got uh, Josh Oliver's got some upside. What if Hunter Bryant goes to Jacksonville? You think they can feed a tight end one there? Well, Gardner Minshew needs a safety net. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's, it's interesting. Like I said, it, you're right, Nick, though. It does have, let's see where they land first. Right, you know, right. At least tight ends. But ah. uh, in the right spot, him and Komet, you know, it would definitely get me excited to at least, you know, I would. So would I rather have, here's the way I look at it. So say you're at like two, eight, two, nine. Would you rather have the, the 12th best, 13th best, 14th best receiver or the number one tight end? Hmm. Depends on what players are there too. Yeah, I, for sure. Like, but like, you said you don't love Van Jefferson, right? Like, you say ah, or not Van Jefferson, uh, Justin Jefferson. Why do I love him over McDonald or Bryant though? Hunter Bryant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, because I think I can go and trade and get like Jay Sternberger for like nothing. Okay. And I think he has a better chance of helping me in fantasy in 2020 than in 2020. Yeah. Well, then you go out and get sicky. Yeah. But you're talking 2020 immediate help. I'm just talking about overall dynasty yeah. you know, players. So when I, anytime I talk tight end, I'm talking about long term value here. Mm-hmm. Hey, this Rich, we got a question for you from Alex. And then we can call this a night. Uh, Rich the God, I could use your advice. Non premium, keep three, cut four. Oh, boy. Ingram, Fant, TJ, OJ, Jasicki, Thomas, and Knox. So it's tight end. It's non PPR. It's non premium. Non premium. So non tight end premium, just normal. In, I would assume in, PPR. In keep three, and yes, cut four. Yeah. It's so not, let's just do you have the, the chat there or no? Um. Oh yeah, I do have the hat here. So just looking at this then, I mean, you're definitely keeping Ingram. You're 100% keeping Fant. Mm-hmm. So it really comes down to me, like, you're not keeping Ian Thomas out of those. You're not keeping Dawson Knox out of those, even though I like Dawson Knox. You're definitely going to mm-hmm. try and trade Dawson Knox. Don't just cut him. Um, so it comes down to O.J. Howard and Gesicki. And right now, no. I, what's that? No, because because there's Hawkinson in there, too. It's Hawk, basically, it's Hawkinson, Howard, and Wait, Hawkinson's Gesicki. in there, too? Yeah. DJ. Man, you got a tight end squad. Oh, yeah, it is Hawkinson, too. Yeah, I'm not cutting Hawkinson. Yeah, it's those three, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah I'd probably but hold you, four and trade three. Yeah, you need to trade like you need to trade those guys. Those are every guy you named on there is not like just a throwaway guy, they're all right. valuable. Like, you it's just a Rick named, Doxon team. 
yeah, you. I love all those guys. Those are all guys. I mean, if if you th- you sprinkle a little Mark Andrews in there and George Kittle, you have pretty much my almost my tight end list. Right. In order. Is your name <laughs> Alex Rich? Is that really your question? Are you just bragging about your tight end? Thank you guys so much for helping me. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, I have the chat here. This is oh, off topic. I'm being offered the 108 for carry on, but my team is weak at running back. KJ is my R- my RB three slash flex. I'm already thinking of taking Clyde Edwards Hilaire with my 107. I would take the 108 over carry on. Yeah, I would. I would take carry on. I'm a big now. Here's the thing. I'm a big carry on truther. I love the way he runs. I feel like if they can get him involved in a cat passing game, which they did at Auburn, uh, I think he's going to be a really good fantasy football player. I mean, come on. He scored over 100 yards for Detroit, which nobody's done since the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is fantastic. So to me, I like Karrion Johnson. The only concern is, which is a, it's a massive concern for me with Karrion, is his injury history. He's literally been injured since high school. So that's a big red flag. But if you need a running back, who are you going to get at 1-8? There's a bunch of running backs this year. Uh, okay. To be fair, yeah, you can get Zach Moss. You can get Keyshawn. Uh, yeah. You know. But I mean, uh, well, there's there's the five. Maybe Cam Akers there too. There's, there's the Cam five Akers. running backs, and then there's um, the three receivers, and that they, I could see the eight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I, I like I like he he didn't ask you guys your opinion. He asked me my opinion. And <laughs> I would take. <laughs> I would keep carry on. Listen, it's a gamble, but listen, that's those are the decisions you have to make or make or break decisions in Dynasty that you know, to find your team for long-term and you're going to get people out there. I think a lot of people are going to be, I think it would be 70, 30 people telling you to take that trade and take one eight easily. But I, again, if I have a guy that I believe in, I'm not falling for that rookie fever. Cause no matter what you do, you're taking a risk. Cause either you're taking a rookie pit guy that you don't have no idea about him, or you're taking a guy that we saw could have success out there in Detroit. They got rid of a lot of their other running backs, the, the receiver situation situation isn't magnificent i like carrying johnson a lot if they could throw him the ball a little bit he could be a running back one i think he's that talented he's just got to stay healthy yep all right guys well we appreciate everybody stopping in uh closing thoughts i think we all all three of us have hunter bryant number one from tonight's review of cole Komet, thaddeus moss and hunter bryant so hunter bryant one commit two moss three right and, and like a distant three like so far distant it's like i'm in cleveland and nick's in madison wisconsin distance yeah and there's still other guys out there like adam trotman harrison bryant um is there anybody else off the top of my head i can't Steven remember Sullivan, chase claypool potentially and, and think yeah, about think claypool. about rich making that statement with how much he loves tight ends that's a big statement that's a big statement but i mean i'm hearing a lot of good things about adam trotman out of dayton and I'll, yes we we have yeah, adam trotman hopkins, film yeah. on yeah. the dynasty nerds bryson nerds. hopkins is another guy alberto 